Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and today we're going to be talking about probably the worst Samsung commercial I think I've seen in a very, very long time. Now, for the record, while I do consider myself an Apple user, I don't consider myself an Apple sheep. I am probably definitely biased, but I'm not so biased in the sense that I hate everything other than Apple. I totally think it's fine if you like Samsung. They have way more features than iPhones do, generally, and when it comes to Android, they're probably the best on the market right now, at least when it comes to hardware. If if I had to choose an Android phone right now for my iPhone 10, it'd be a tough choice between the Galaxy S9 and the Pixel 2 XL. I am not a hater of Android or of Samsung, just want to get that out of the way. While I do own an iPhone and use an iPhone and enjoy iPhones, I'd like to think of myself as a fair person who just has an opinion and likes iPhones better than Android. And I've always said, you know, you use whatever you want to use, it's a free country. The fact that people get so stuck up over certain phones and stuff, I find ridiculous. But anyway, this commercial did kind of rub me the wrong way. And I wanted to talk about it just because of how bad it is. It's a recent commercial by Samsung in which they compare the iPhone 6 to the Galaxy S9, a video where they're making fun of the iPhone 6 in 2018. Okay, so let's just watch this together and see what we get here. Next in line, please. Sorry, one second. It's loading. Look. Oh, it's loading. Oh, it's loading. All right. Okay, so first problem here. Uh, who doesn't open the app before they see the TSA agent? Like, she's at an airport or something here, right? People don't do that, at least as far as I know. Uh, so that's the first problem, especially if you know your phone is this slow. I don't think you would wait until the last possible moment to do that. But anyways, okay, so, so far we've established, hey, it's a slow iPhone. It's an iPhone 6. It's a four-year-old phone. Let's continue. <laughs> Oh, and look, this Samsung is able to do it perfectly. Wow, it's almost as if it was a phone made in 2018. All right, let's continue. I like how the mom's like, did you upgrade from that iPhone 6 yet? What? <laughs> Since when is your parents the one trying to get you to upgrade your phone? That's never happened to me. It's always me trying to get my parents to upgrade their phones. It's not the opposite way around. I just find that funny. With all <sighs> of your conniving, you wow, she pulled the earbuds out really quick there. You lost your charm. Okay, so here she's just watching the Samsung user pl use their phone, but like if it was a different person there with a different phone, say an iPhone that, you know, has some competency to load anything, then she could just watch that person too. It doesn't have to be specifically Samsung here. There's lots of phones that can do that. That's such a basic thing. But anyways. You built a plane at Is this Downtown. Okay, so it looks like she gets into the wrong car or something, and now she's like, you know, just head downtown. I mean, again, like, so many of these problems here, if you know your phone's that bad, then you should probably, like, prepare better and just think through situations a little bit better. I don't know of anybody with an iPhone 6 who has this much trouble on a regular basis, but hey, uh, I guess there, somebody is probably out there. And I'm on. Can you stop here? Oh, now she's going to the Apple store. That's cool. Can we fix this phone tonight? It's really slow. You could turn off the performance management feature, but it may lead to unexpected shutdowns. Battery throttling. Or you can just upgrade it. She says battery throttling. Like, who actually says that? Like, who knows what that is? A general person who has an iPhone 6 probably would never say that. It's just really abrupt and kind of weird. Okay, so I think this is what Samsung really wants to get at with this commercial. They really want to talk about the whole battery throttling thing, which, first off, you're quite a few months late. Apple's already, like, fixed this pretty well. This guy here, this Apple employee, is telling her, okay, so you can either, you can either turn off the performance management and have a bad battery or upgrade your phone, which isn't the case. You can actually get your battery swapped now for like $30, which is super cheap. And so I understand Samsung doesn't want to say that, but even so, like that is an option. Also, they are kind of making fun of like Apple employees for apparently, you know, just not being that interested. This guy seems pretty bored and that's kind of funny. I've dealt with some pretty bad Apple employees before. I think a lot of us probably have, so I'm not, I'm not mad about that. This woman's pretty distressed about it though. And you know, uh, he raises a good point. You could always upgrade, you know, uh, the iPhone 6 is four years old now. Anyway, so let's continue. <laughs> Oh, and now we're passing the notch guy. I love this guy. He's great. This is the one part. A lot of people didn't like this guy, like a lot of Apple, I guess, sheep or whatever you want to call him. were really unhappy about this. I found him hilarious. I find this guy hilarious. Now he's a kid too. Did he have a kid in the first one? I don't remember, but I really like this guy. Of course, now the notch is on a ton of phones. It's on the new LG. It's on the new OnePlus. So, I mean, it's not just Apple anymore, but even so, it's still pretty funny. <laughs> 
she's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> Can you imagine if you actually passed a guy with that haircut? <laughs> I'd be looking at him like that too, even if I actually have an iPhone 10. Oh, and look, she actually upgraded to the Galaxy S9. Wow, good for her. I bet this is going to be so much better for her than that four-year-old phone was. You know, this phone that was released a couple months ago is probably definitely going to be better than a four-year-old phone. Man, that is crazy, Samsung. Got that upgrade. Her mom will be so excited. Okay, so what Samsung's trying to do here is they're saying, there's, they know for a fact, that this is interesting marketing because they know there's a lot of people still on old iPhones and they're trying to say like, hey, your old iPhone is slow, so you should upgrade to the newest Galaxy. The problem with that is that can apply for like almost anything. It isn't just the old iPhone 6 that's gonna be slow. The Galaxy Note 4 from 2014 is also quite slow in 2018. So let's say Apple did a commercial with a guy who's struggling on his Galaxy Note 4 from 2014 and switched to the iPhone 10. Of course, of course the iPhone 10 is going to be way better than the Galaxy Note 4 is. I had one guy try to fight me about this on Twitter, but it's true. That's just a fact. The iPhone 10 is better than the Galaxy Note 4. I'm sorry. Like, okay, my dad has a Galaxy Note 4, right? That thing is bogged down as heck. First off, it's on Android Marshmallow still, which is like Android 6. So that's like two years behind. The battery is garbage. Like he has trouble getting through the day a lot of the time. And it's so slow. It's just so slow. It's really painful. He actually wants to switch to an iPhone next because he's so tired of it. And you know, Samsung's bloatware is something a lot of people don't like either. His phone isn't super easy to use. And the iPhone 10 is a way better phone than the Galaxy Note 4 is. It's going to be way faster. It's going to be easier to use. It's not going to have any of the adware. And you might be thinking, well, that's not really a fair comparison. The Galaxy Note 4 is four years old. The iPhone 10 is only, what, six months old? And uh, yeah, that's my point. It isn't really a good comparison for Samsung to say, hey, the iPhone 6 is terrible now. You should get a Galaxy. While I get what they're kind of trying to do, they're saying don't upgrade to an iPhone, upgrade to a Galaxy. I think that message would be a lot more effective if they just showed the flaws of the iPhone 10 and showed why the Galaxy S9 is better. Just by showing that your iPhone 6 sucks now and that the newest phone out is better, that's not really much motivation, at least for me. I think this commercial is inherently flawed, and so I think it, Samsung's a lot better off just comparing their newest phones to the newest iPhones. All it's saying is that your old iPhone is slow, so you should get a Galaxy. Well, my old iPhone is slow, maybe I should get a new iPhone. That would be easier, and uh, you're not really telling me not to get a new iPhone here. I mean, you might be saying that if you get a new iPhone, phone you get a weird bad haircut I guess that's kind of a thing at the end of the day you know this is just an ad I just don't think it's a good one and a lot of Samsung's ads like the growing up one even though a lot of people didn't like it because they're Apple fans I actually liked that ad I thought it was pretty well done for the most part it was obviously ridiculous and I wouldn't switch over to a galaxy after all that but even so in the growing up commercial they talked about how they've always been ahead of the game before Apple which isn't always necessarily true but in the specific instances they chose to show they were and I think that's a really good way to get people to move over to you because it's true they have much more features than iPhones do so anyways that's I think where I'm gonna end this here I just think this wasn't a great commercial and that hopefully Samsung will do better next time I guess I don't hate Samsung I actually like their newer phones I think they look amazing I'll stick with my iPhone 10 because I like my iPhone 10 a lot but hey if I had to choose a Android phone it would be a very tough fight between the Galaxy S9 and the Pixel 2 XL and uh, that's it for now uh, thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video maybe hit the like button and comment your thoughts on this commercial down below. Curious to see what you all have to say. I know this is a bit of a different video for me. I've never, I don't think I've ever really done one like this. I don't know if I ever will again, but I just really wanted to talk about it. Maybe hit that subscribe button if you're interested in tech content, and you can always follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, direct links below. With that all said, I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and I will see you all next time.